Oh, good. So, wait, let's get in. Yeah, I gotta get in. Hmm. Maybe we should get the next one to have a remote. <laughs> a moat? A, a re remote. Oh, a remote. remote. I like, thought... I could sit here and go click and turn it on. Hi, everybody. They oh, we're here. Out. We can click me out. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We can see enough Guess of your what? turkey. It's <laughs> November 22nd, episode number 22. 22. Right before. We planned this out perfectly. Turkey day. <laughs> <laughs> we planned this perfectly, didn't we? It is great. Do you like my hat? I love Epstein. It's Epstein. Epstein? Epstein the turkey. Meet the group. Group? Meet Epstein. <laughs> oh go. my gosh. He's actually, and I, well, I had to kind of fix him. He was for a, uh, uh, when I used to be a little more functional. Whoa! I think our, our. He's a little crooked. Yeah. That's He's, right. Well, we moved. We moved. It, that slid a little bit, but I think we'll just. Oh, we're still okay. We're, we're still, still fine. Good. Yeah. I didn't see it slip. I just. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden I thought. Did oh. you get a little seasick there? Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> For sure. Technical difficulties. Yeah. So anyway, but, so, yeah, I'll take it off. The, maybe I'll leave it on. <laughs> are you going to take it off or are you going to leave it on? I think I'll leave it on for now. Until you start sweating? Yeah, until I sweat. And then I. Well, I mean, you're not running the three I'm not mile. running five, my three miles. It was a 5K. Yep. And it was in Michigan when I wore this. And um, obviously was, around Thanksgiving, it was Turkey Day. It was it was it was Thanksgiving, it was Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving morning. Day. It was one of those turkey trots, oh, and they turkey. supported the wounded warriors. And so we went downtown, and it was Gosh. cold. I mean, it was like two below zero. It was Where were you at? Where were Lansing, you? Michigan. Oh yeah, oh, of course God. it was cold. And it was really <laughs> cold that morning and really windy, and so everybody's like huddled all together, and 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 I had the hat on, and some guy was filming the. Ready, set, go. And I yeah. stayed over on the side because I wasn't very fast. But the group I was with is pretty quick. They did like 12-minute miles. Sure. And so I was over on the side. And so I kind of got going and everything. And he waves me over. And I thought, oh, great. Now he's going to make fun of me and everything. And he asked me a couple questions. And I said, you know, and he was impressed that I had come up from Indianapolis for this. And I said, well, family and everything. And then he said, uh, he says, well, well why, why, why are you out here in this cold morning? And I said, well, the Wounded Warriors Project is really great. And yeah, I said, wounded besides, warriors. when I get done, I can have two pieces of pie. <laughs> <laughs> two pieces because I run three miles, I can have two pieces so, of pie. At least two pieces of yeah, pie. Yeah, and I did really good. That was a good run, and, and I, I did really well. That's awesome. I love so that. it was fun. Yeah. I I'm signed that. up for one. It's virtual this year. The, um, well, that's the kind I could do. I virtual. could do a virtual the, three yeah. mile too. <laughs> yeah, it's the Jingle Bell Run for the Amer the Heart Writers um, Foundation. Oh, I should probably do and that. And it's um and you can take which is so nice about this because then if you take a twenty minute mile or if you're off that day or something and you're out there for an hour plus, you know, doing this, you're not keeping volunteers. Do you actually on the have track. to get out there and run? Yeah, you have to move. Yeah, you got to go. Yeah. You do. You have to walk. You don't have to run. You can walk. Okay. So anyway, so I'm going to do that. Mm -hmm. well, and and you. when you finish it, they'll send you the code, and they're going to give us um, a free ticket to the state fair for the their lights. So maybe oh. one evening we'll go oh, down and see oh, all the, the, Christmas the Christmas lights. The Christmas lights. So yeah. Yeah. The Christmas lights. yeah. yeah. I've never done that. Yeah. I'm. I'm it's. I can't remember yeah. what it is, but yeah, it, it goes when I get done with it. So I'll be. So I'll be doing that. To do that, I'm I'm only at about two and a half comfortable, so I figure the other half a mile I should be able to do okay, or I'll just have Mikey pick me up. Boy, did she go fast on that last right? Half that mile. last mile was really <laughs> fast, thirty miles an hour. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she just I have to go to the bathroom. That's usually how you can tell. If when mm. you watch, when my husband, Mikey used to watch me, or you could track, and then all of a sudden be like, "Hmm, did you?" Have a little trouble at mile such and such when you seem to kind of hover there, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. The bushes were good there. <laughs> oh, bushes were good there. <laughs> yeah. I cannot do that. Yeah. Oh, I can. You'd be surprised at some of these runs. I had never realized it. I mean, here in Indy, I'd only done the threes and maybe the fives and the ten k's. I hadn't done any, you know, big ones. And some of these, they go right up to the fence and drop their drawers because, you know, they're all standing in line drinking coffee and, you know, getting themselves awake at 3 o'clock and 4 o'clock in the morning before we go out at 6, you know. I mean, 
the mini marathon starts at 7.30, but to get everybody across, it takes almost 45 minutes before everybody gets across the starting gate. Um, Because there's 40,000 people usually in the mini. Gosh, that sounds like fun. It is. (laughs) What's really fun is you're up there kind of doing this, and you turn around and look at her, you go down the hill, and all of a sudden you see all these heads. It's really and not a one of them has a turkey like Epstein no, on their head like you do. <laughs> Nobody has. Do Epstein. you stand out? Yeah. In the crowd, I my girlfriend. Epstein. So Epstein here is going to yeah. sit with us right here, next to little Pinky. Here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you guys can't see this, but he yeah. Pops. I went to the dollar store. She went to the dollar store and got this little guy. Yeah. <laughs> he like. He's like a. He's like a Pac Man. Yeah. Across the. Now, table for us. You're gonna. What? He's, He's kind of in front of your face. That's okay. <laughs> He's cute. face. He's cute. <coughs> so, anyway, hi everybody. Again, welcome. We've been here for now 22 episodes. Yeah. Can mm-hmm. you believe it? 22. 22. This is amazing. Number 22. Now we're past legal. Now we're adults. Now we have to be responsible. Want responsible? <sighs> and make turkey this coming week. Yeah, yeah everybody going to have turkey? Uh, like a lamb? Yeah, I wish like a lamb. Yeah. I wish, but yeah. we're no, going to do probably a turkey. turkey. Yeah, we'll do a turkey. No, we'll, we'll have a turkey. Yeah. Sorry, I'll be going Epstein. up to Mother's. Sorry, Epstein. And it Thanksgiving is my son's, my older son's birthday and his daughter's birthday. Oh, nice. Isn't that nice? Yeah. When she was born. I'm sure he was kind of glum going, please go the next day, go the next day. He was. I thought, oh, how cool. She's going to be born on your birthday. He said, oh, I'll never have my own birthday. birthday. Yeah. And I thought, God, aren't you old enough to be over that? But apparently not. No, no. I guess we are never over that. We always want to be. So. Going. Happy birthday, Ryan and Caitlin. Yep, happy birthday coming up on Thursday. So, Tim and hi, Caitlin. Ryan. Tim and Caitlin, how you doing? So, Ryan, hi. Hi, Ryan. Um, so, oh, and I wanted to thank everybody for writing all those comments um, about, I finally got on there, about the organization. <laughs> yeah, we had lots of and comments went, about them. Uh-huh. And, yeah. and I went to try to say thanks, it's a good idea, or I like this, or I love you know, it. question. But, there was one gal that talked about... Um, Kodak. Um, yeah, yeah. I yeah. really need to look into that. That's a great idea. Where it's like an instant can... photo yeah. on your phone. I need so to look cool. into yeah. that. Yeah. Whoever yeah. wrote that, I'm sorry I don't remember your name right now, but I do remember the comment and I need to go back and look at it and go look at the actual product. Yeah. The other surprising cool. one was we have an, a new viewer from Scotland. Oh my gosh, yes. Hello. That was so exciting. International yeah. we are. <laughs> Yes, we are. So we if no, I think we do have a few other internationals. Do we? I think yeah. so, yeah. Uh, so if you're from not America. Yeah, if you're from some other place. Let us know. Actually, you know what? From wherever you are. If you miss a comment and let us yes. know where you are. We love Thank to know where you guys here. are yes. all at. We it's love the Friday. comments. Yeah. I, anyway, uh, yeah, I had tried and I got on my phone and it kept saying I had to You're come just back. computer challenged, honey. I know. Just keep writing on your paper. You're doing much better that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm totally ready. computer challenged. I live with a geek, too, so you'd be so surprised that it, it was the, you know. But it doesn't rub off. No. No, you it can't get it by off. osmosis. No. No. I, um, I, have a, I have a son who's a geek. I say with and all kinds of love. it still doesn't rub off, no. does it? No. He'll, I, what I love is I'll ask him a question, and he has this, <sighs> Mom, ah. <laughs> it's like part of his vocabulary. Um, and I, I love him. I don't do that yet. I just hand my device over to my child oh, and go. Yeah. I hand it to my grandson. Oh, God, that's for sure. And I don't know what's, what's, what's going on, and I'll tell her in two minutes later, she'll hand it back and it won't be doing that again. Yeah. And I'll be like, thank you. Thank I don't you. even want to know. Like, Mm-mm. Yeah, he fixed my Instagram account. I had a. Um, I don't know. Somebody. Your grandchild fixed that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. My grandson. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grandson. Yeah. yeah. My my son couldn't be bothered, but my grandson, right. who loves me and and likes the presents I yeah. give him, does things like that for me. Of course. Me. Yeah. Well, see, and he'll be the one to take care of you when you need to be put in a closet. <laughs> don't put me in the closet, Ryan. Please. Listen, when I finally get there, that's oh, about all that's going to be left in my. 
retirement fund is is that I think it's enough for a closet. Didn't I hear about a lady who who retired to a cruise ship? I know that's yes. going to be me. And it was, I think it was that less would be expensive per day. Than, it was cheaper than than a home. Plus, yeah. she got all these. Better care. She got all these perks because she was taking the same cruise all the yeah. time. She said she only she allowed on herself once a month to do one of the excursions because they're expensive. Yeah. So she said she would just usually mm -hmm. go into town and do stuff. Um, she bought clothing that was very rinsable. She put it in her room. She didn't mind an inside cabin at all because that was fine for her. And being alone. They took the second bed out and brought her an extra chair. So she had this perfect thing. And it was, she'd go yeah. on these 12, 14 day cruises, come in, get a hotel, you know, and then go out the next day or just not even get off the ship and go right out again. And go right out again. And, you know, it was costing her about $1,500 to $2,000 a month, whereas a nursing home or a facility back, uh, I mean, because it didn't then, have the assisted living type way, things. Way it was way more expensive. And it was like, you know, she's like, Two thousand forty five hundred, and I get to go wherever I want. And and she yeah. she did it for quite a few years, from what I understand. More power to her. Yeah, I want to do it. That's, yeah. I think that's great. Yeah, me too. I think that would be super good. Because my to one mom, my mom said when she dies, she wants to make sure the money that she leaves us, she's got a separate fund. And every once in a while, she lives with my sister, and my sister was a doctor, and she's kind of like was my father too. So. <laughs> The poor mom gets all this stuff in the house, and so everyone says, she's bound to determine to leave a certain amount to us. Just guaranteed. And I'm like, Mom, just go get a place. It's okay, you yeah. know? Jesus. And she's like, no, no, I'm going to do this. But I don't want you guys to do it for anything that's important. Just use it frivolous. And well, I'm then like, why don't you use it frivolous? That's what I keep telling her. I said, will you please at least wear your new underwear instead of putting on that crappy crap that you... Oh. <laughs> Does she watch us? No. Oh, I was going to oh, say. Oh my goodness! Do you have elderly people I think, in your I life? Think I do. I think all. But your mom's up and about. She's not. And every once in a while, and she buys new clothes all the time. Well, my mom does too. Don't get me wrong. But for every once in a while, she'll go through something silly. Like she'll say, um, "I hope you got that on sale because I'm not going to live long enough to get my money's use out of it." <laughs> and everything I make her. I, I stopped using Lolo did it and, and, you know, Madeline Tosh and stuff. And I just go to Hobby Lobby, no offense to anybody who, you know, it's just that because. Who she, says that? Not you. My mother will be oh, like, she I'm like, not it. you. No, no, no. <laughs> if I were to hand her a sweater. Goodness, made you'll with, use it all. Oh, yeah, I use everything. <laughs> if I make the sweater and, and everything, and she's like, oh, my, you know, that I, that sweater was only $12 at Kohl's. I get, and then she wraps it up in tissue paper and sticks it in the drawer. And never wears it. Never wears it. My mother, my mother wears the, and uses which everything. Which so. is good, and I'm glad. Because I have the complete them, opposite know. philosophy. The more it costs, the more I'm going to use it. Well, I always kind of... <laughs> true, seriously. I agree too. <laughs> seriously. you got to show it off. Yeah, yeah it's absolutely. True. I have to admit, I look at it something and I'll go, okay, it's $120. Mm -hmm. No. Okay, now if I wear it twice, I'm going to be going here and yeah, here, no, no, no. Yeah. and then here and here. Oh, no, no, I go through a whole analytical thing, and that's how I, I kind of go through, you know. Oh, now, there's certain I things. Did, Disney know, things, no. Then I just buy it because I like Disney. Okay, so here here's how the, that philosophy started with me. My grandmother, my dad's mom, um, she used to go and... Uh, what are they auctions and yeah. and that sort of thing mm -hmm. and she would buy depression glass mm -hmm. oh yeah right mm -hmm. so this was the thing with this generation right right mm -hmm. so there she had three so she had two sons and a daughter and mm -hmm. they all got married so she had three women that she could gift Give to. to right so it was pink amber and green right for the depression glass right right and so she would get so at christmas time the women would get depression glass. Right. And then they would pack it away and they would put it in boxes and hide it or they would display it in some little curio cabinet and it would never get used. And then when the grandkids came along, the girl grandkids, then grandma had to come up with other colors. Right. So the more rare colors of depression glass. Right. Ruby. Right. Emerald green. Mm-hmm. And Is carnival it? glass, I think. Yeah, I think so, that's what it's called. So, yeah, so I had ruby. Oh, you would love my I got ruby, right? And so cool. I was just like, 
I am not going to put this in a box or in a curio cabinet to not be used. Right. I designed my kitchen so that it was red, white, and black, and I was using that shit. Oh, I would too. I'm like, yeah. this is going to get used. Like, yeah. 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 I have my it's father. It's too pretty not to use. Yeah. My father-in-law sure. used to haunt auctions, and he would buy me. I have a bunch of red depression glass that's mm -hmm. in my attic. Yes. In your attic, see? see? Yeah, so I'm in mean, attic like, not being used. Well, the thing I don't is, have any. I don't have any reason. I've had the same. It's just me. I don't. Yeah, I mean, we're, it's just him and I, and we've had the same dishes for forty-two years. I got them for my, for my their corral. I got them for my shower present. Um, this is the second set of silverware mm. because I lost a set, so that's the only reason it's there. But my mom, <coughs> and I know, remember when Avon used to do that stuff, and you get it with the oh perfume in it, and and the body wash and the soaps. Oh yes. my God, I and you never get that smell out. It's and I think the <laughs> one corner of the garage is upstairs has got all that stuff in it. But I don't want to get rid of it until she's gone. I think I'll just keep it because I know so hard she worked to give it to me to get it to me. You know, little wine glasses. You guys have, little, seriously. If you guys really had the same dishes for forty two years, forty huh? Same yeah. dishes. Same uh, dishes. Not that long. I'm, I bought them when I moved to to Zionsville. Sorry, I've got. <clears throat> Got a frog in your throat. I breathed when I should have swallowed. Yeah. Um, furball, furball. I'm like, I'm like, here it comes. Stop it. Oh my God, she just doesn't shut up, does she? She's like the freaking Energizer Bunny. <laughs> Put your hat back on. Um, scooch over this way. Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, what? I was coughing. The dishes. The dishes. Yeah. Oh, I bought new dishes when I moved to Zionsville, which was 25 years ago. But it's just me, and I think in the course of those 25 years, I cracked one plate, but I glued it back together. So, I mean, it's just me. I don't need, like, a bunch of... I've gone through three sets. Well, you should not throw them at Jamie. Yeah. Well, sometimes you're okay, kidding. So I mean, when, I first, and... when I first moved out, I, I have to tell this because, you know, um, I guess I'm the younger. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm the younger. Uh, so when I first moved out of the house, I moved in. I don't even know if you guys know this, but all right. I moved out and I moved in with two guys. Right? Yeah. And when I was in college. Mm -hmm. Have I told you guys this? I knew that you lived with two guys. Yeah. It was like reverse three's company. So it was a three bedroom, one bath. <laughs> I would fun that would have been. Oh God, the two guys. Man. But at least okay. So the the shower, right? Bathtub shower was its own room. Okay, so that's oh, better. Oh, and then and right. then the vanity and whatnot was right. different different room. So that was a little bit better. Yeah. But um, yeah. So when I moved there, I had to get something cheap because I was oh poor. dishes. I was poor. Sure. Well, we all were when we started out like that. I was poor and didn't have anything at all, so I think I spent nineteen ninety nine at like Walmart and got these black octagon, yeah, shaped, mm, very yeah, very mm, retro, very, very like, cool. I know. So I I got those, and then and then when Jamie and I married, he, I just got another set, so we had eight. <laughs> so, we had, so we had eight. Because we were still poor. Yeah. You know, we were still very poor. And then a few years into marriage, um, I, they they showed every single spot. They were like black mirrors. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, and I'm just like, I wanted my kitchen to be black, white, and red. But that doesn't mean that your dishes need to be oh, black. No, no, no. Um, no. Yeah. So, but, you know, when you're 18, you don't know any. Oh, no. You, you don't, don't know, really you know anything. You right. Right. So I, I got tired of having to, like, Windex my dishes so they didn't have white spots <laughs> on them. <laughs> I was not Windexing my, but I felt like I had to because they had water spots on them all the time. Um, and so I, Jamie took me shopping. And I couldn't make up my mind. And finally, I was like, well, I don't want to have to spend, you know, $200 because we didn't have $200 on a mm -hmm. full set of dishes because we really wanted like 12. Right. Instead of 12. Even oh. though you did not know 12 people. No, don't because you don't right want to have to wash the dishes. Because you want to do all the washing. You, so. wanna, you <laughs> want to be able to fill up the dishwasher. So um, we ended up, I ended up getting single plate so you know like right. you could buy a single plate at a time yeah, can, yeah. at pier one. Oh yeah those would be fun oh my god yeah so then they were all these different colors yeah 
but they were super heavy and I ended up, you know, yeah. 10 years be, after yeah. I had them, I'm like, I don't really like these. And they yeah. were all different colors. Sure. And so, and now I have white. Yes, you do. I have all white. That's good. That's good. And I think I'm going to attribute that to Giada De Laurentiis, she, or however you pronounce her name, because I think she said at one point in time, the food just looks better on white. Yeah, and she you does. Can, and, and you can, can, you can, and you can arrange can it. buy any kind of white right. dish you want. Right. And I then, prefer white yeah. uh, paper plates as well. Right. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm good with white paper plates. So, I, white. I, white is what I have now. Mm -hmm. White, and I can get whatever color white I want. Well, really I, or, I, mean, white. I can get whatever dish I want, and it goes with but you know, the thing as is, long as it's white. You, you, you don't do light yarn. You always mm. do very colorful yarn. Why are we talking about dishes? I don't know. I don't know. We, we were, just got into You know it. what? You never know what we're going to talk about. We here. never it's know what we're going to talk about. You don't even know. Yeah. It's always going to be interesting. I mean, you just never know. So what are you knitting on, Deborah? Nothing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nothing. She no, did, seriously. I, she I did didn't... bring something that's really cool, though, I to did? show. What did you yes, bring? You oh, did. did. What is that laying there? Oh, my sweater. Yeah. Uh, that big, bulky thing just hanging that about thing. there underneath Epstein. Yep, underneath Epstein. Here we go. This is... It's fantastic. I, I love this. I don't know the name of it, but it was a she'll, sweater. I'll look it up and I'll She'll look, look it up, it give it to me, and cool. I'll put it in. But I'll this put is it like in. a poncho sweater. Yeah. See? She I calls call it a poncho, but I'm calling it a damn sweater. It it's is a fantastic. damn sweater. <laughs> damn sweater. <laughs> it's, That's what the pattern should be called, damn, damn sweater. sweater. And it probably could be for all I know. I think it is just I made this for fantastic. a cruise in 2017 when we went with Mass Ave, and... The problem was, it was 89 degrees on the East Coast. <laughs> oh, yeah. So there you wasn't didn't want to wear it. Boat, right. there no, wasn't, but I no, love this. And I think, I think it's so great. Night. Anyway, see? Like this. And you, you I love it, it going this way, and then you sew it, and then you can make the sleeve. Some of the girls just tacked it. I just haven't sewed it all the way down. Um, some people made long sleeves, short sleeves. Some just had the open yeah. the sleeve, yeah. you know, just to kind of like... I open. like it. You did and it just like a, a sweater. High Mountain, I think, is the was the yarn and it's it drapes pretty good but when i was making it it wasn't very easy to work with yeah but well, that would have been hot and, yeah that and yeah but it does drape pretty i good love it it's yeah here. It's, I, so, it's very it's nice really pretty i like it i'm gonna have to knit it so we will and well, i think I'll i'm gonna do it in that brooklyn tweed that i got i think that would be perfect. i think it'd be fantastic in that too. brooklyn, brooklyn tweed. tweed so yes this and is I'll put a couple three years old somewhere in it i forgot i had it Lay and I was down. cleaning up. I was yeah, cleaning up <laughs> upstairs, and it was in the drawer. And I thought, "What's that purple thing?" And sure enough, it was. This, and I thought, "Oh, the sweater!" So I thought, "I'm going to start." Oh, the sweater! It. Oh, the sweater I made. Yeah, oh, the sweater. We were talking so about sweater. We were talking about that at lunch. Um, and Marco, if you're watching, hello. Um, he was our new waiter in another broken egg. So we were. We. I am so cute. envious about you guys. And then you broken just egg. take. Anyway, you could take a day off and come with us. Yeah. <laughs> we were talking. Anyway, yeah. we started talking about the lack of enthusiasm. What do we do uh -huh. with all the stuff that we knit? I mean, how many of you do have stacks of stuff at home? I mean, I go through a spurt where I I like doing the the scarves or the, the shawls, and I'm a hot person. Oh, that I can't wear them very long, so they start out on. And uh, this, what was it, last year? You guys know what I do with mine, so. Yeah, she she makes them, she wears them, then she sells them. <laughs> because she's like, eh. I know I'm going to be making another one, so. Yeah, she's a serial knitter. But sometimes <laughs> you wonder, you know, for me, I guess it's the process more than the project. Right. Like mm -hmm. Barbara wants to know. It's the yeah. process. I just enjoy doing it. And I remember this yarn. Um, Harriet had owned the village yarn company then, and she had gotten this in, and I buried it in the bottom of a bucket. So, the, and I said, don't tell anybody you got it. I'm going to buy it all, but I don't have the money. And she's like, okay. But I don't have the money right now. And she she took it. I didn't know she did this. She pulled it out and put it in a bag for me in the bag. Oh, oh how sweet of her. Yeah, yeah. So she was really good for that. So anyway, but um, it was a it was nice to work on and. A couple that a lot of people use Malabrigo, and the one girl didn't realize that um, 
But that's this like is one that's with like Malabrigo where you have to switch. The that's skin. like sport, mm. right? Yeah, this is a sport weight. More of a heavy fingering. I don't. I don't know decay. if I would. It's got silk in it. That's got silk mm. in it. Yeah. yeah. So it was. It was well, not, it drapes beautifully. Yeah, it mm -hmm. was It was not a cheap thing to do, but we did it for the trip. And yeah, but I love that sweater, and I think you should wear it more often. It looks fantastic on you. Thank you. And uh, so it was fun, but everybody, nobody wore it the entire trip. Well, it was no, like, not it, when it's it was 80, 80 degrees. degrees. Seriously, it was, it was like unbelievably Gosh. warm, and we all thought, everybody worked on them all summer saying, oh, we've got this poncho for this trip, and nobody wore it. It's yeah. like, oh, man, you know, but... And I'm just working on the baby sweater. I mean, the baby blanket the baby that I blanket, showed the pink last one week with the hearts. On. Uh huh. And then um, I wound a couple yarns. Um, one of them is going to be the hipster that I that yeah, I, I gave. Oh, I oh, wound oh, up. Oh. I wound up the. I wound up the yarn for her, like 500 and some odd yards. Yes, it's 500. It's, Holy mackerel! Yeah. yeah, it's a big cake. It's a big cake. <laughs> it's Miss Babs Yowza. And it's called, I can't remember what it's is called. It, ghouls, Goblins and Ghouls. Is it one skein? Yeah, yeah this is one, one skein. skein. And it's her Yowza, which is her DK weight. And it's um, super wash. It was 560 yards. So I'm going to do last week, Sue showed her hipster. And I really think this would really be uh, cute. I think it'll be fantastic. It's got some and greens. Yeah. And like, I think it would be really nice. cool. That'll be very nice. So be we, fun. We, and that's such it, a, and I was worried that it's such an easy, fun, like no yeah. brainer popcorn knit. Yeah. And Except I, for the triple yarn overs. Yeah. But you only right. have that every, every you know, rows. 10 rows or something. Well, anyway. So, Michael, what do you got going? I've got a couple of things going. I We talked about doing a knit along. Yes. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Let Micah talk. I am. And one of the patterns we talked about was Mopito, which is M P I T O. Um, and this is Mopito. Um, although it's not, I never, it isn't finished. I mean, there were more rows to do. You can and, go as long oh, and, or as short. But good grief, this is way big enough. Yeah, I just finally stopped. Holy buckets. So, um. But that's fun. It yeah, is fun. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you've got these sections, which are stock, stockinette, and then you have the, little the little lace. lace right, the lace gets less and the stockinette gets more towards the... No, no, vice versa. Vice versa. Okay, yeah. whatever. So, and whatever. then I... Oh, but I like this. This is so fun. This, is, this would be a fun one to do. Yeah. And it's, okay. it is easy. It's, is it's this, TV knitting. Is yeah. this, what, what is this yarn? And I'm sorry you ask. This is like a... Yeah, it's, something. I it's did a Queensland, cotton. Yeah. Queensland cotton. Oh, yeah, yeah maybe so. Right. Maybe so. I've and never blocked it or anything because right. it's well, it so drapey. It. Yeah. Super drapey. But oh, I, I started. This. It even goes with my shirt. I'm just going to keep wearing okay, it. Leave, leave it on. I used um, <laughs> bamboo pop <laughs> sock on mine. Yeah, and I wore it a couple weeks ago, the red, white, and blue one. This yeah. one, this is again the Mopito, but it's with um, the yarn I showed you last week, which oh. is the hot. 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 Hope yarn, yeah, and it's got the sparkle in it. Um, oh yeah, this like, one's fun. Can you see the sparkle? And <laughs> I'm, but I'm a little sparkly there. And I'm so just less than halfway done. So so we, again, it's going to be a good size. Um, yeah. So that's that's one of those that we thought we could that we could use for the Mopito, middle. Of. I think Mopito would be fine. Yeah, yeah I, I think, think so. Be good. The other yeah, one that would be it's a, it's. Uh, I would. It's not easy, easy. It's easy, easy. But I mean, it's not. I wouldn't say it's basic, but it would keep an intermediate one right. going along because totally. you do have that little bit right. of yeah. Plus, uh, quasi got, lace. You've got so much options too. You could do the lace sections in a different color. Yeah. You could do mini yeah, skins. Yeah, yeah. You and can this do yarn solids. is so nice because it's striped. Yeah. So um, this is. So this yeah. is one that I found today, and it's, can I just steal this from you? No. <laughs> if you want to borrow it, you're welcome. Um, this one is called Fading Stripes um, Hedgehog, Hedgehog Fibers, and it is a free pattern on Ravelry. Or probably Hedgehog, I'm sure. Uh, well, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out on Hedgehog. But you see, it's just a real simple striped mm -hmm. shawl. Uh, yeah, another one where you could do mini skeins going up with well, a what I of thought, solid What colors. I thought I would do is use two different colors of fingering. You see here, you can see the stripes a little more clearly. Yeah. And just switch them back and forth. 
again, a free pattern. So either one of these would be great for um, the knit along. What's I think I, this is fading stripes. Fading stripes. stripes. Yeah. I think it, I think. Well, we can. I, people can have. I a, think they can do whatever they yeah. really like to do. Right, and it's not. I don't think we're going to do it over a short period of time. Think, what I'd like you guys to do is, when you sit down and watch this, just pick it up just and use it. Pick up a knit. Yeah, yeah. just. I mean, yeah. kind of think of us and watch it, and you know, kind of get your head going in whatever direction you want it going. Just don't then, laugh too hard because it'll know. pull the stitches out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to do that, uh, but it's really easy. It, it kind of. I think yeah. both of those would be. Yeah, yeah either, either one, one I think is going to be of, super uh, easy. Popcorn yeah. knitting. Yeah. This one. Or this is. Us. Or listening to us be crazy silly. For this sure. is part of my stash. Um, my stash lives on the coffee table. <laughs> some of it. Some of it lives here. Oh, some of it lives here at Sue's house. Mm -hmm. But this is Barnyard Knits. The newer stuff is on the table. Oh, yeah, the newer oh. stuff. And it's Lee, L-E-I. -E -I. Like a, the flower, Lay. Lay? Lee. L-E-I. L-E-I. How are we pronounce that? Is it Lee or Lay? Anyway, I think it's really pretty. It's kind of blowing out there. Yeah, it's kind of corally peach with some yeah. Pink well, a little bit of yellow color. and and some speckles. Mm -hmm. And away you go. So Pretty I cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but it's um, merino and nylon. Four hundred and sixty three yards. That's a good size. I know. I know. Yeah. I could do something big. Wear <laughs> a couple of those with. Got cute well, I've label. got, uh, I could use one of those with um, another something to do that striped one. The fading stripes fading I Fading stripes should. would be cute, too. That'd be pretty. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of stripes, Stephen West has got a new one out. Oh, dear. Yeah. Stop. And it's, it kind of goes. Stop, Stephen. Kind of Stop wavy. it. Yeah, oh, he's I got a shawl that. and he's got a cowl. Oh, yeah, And I it's saw got wavies and I'm thinking, oh, my God. Because his stripe. Aganza or strip Aganza, which was a mystery one. He's finally put that picture on a thing, and that's pretty cool. Way beyond what I I could, do. you know what I mean? It's very involved, and that I would just, be something that I would enjoy doing as much as. But I love some of this cool stuff. But that one was like, again, I haven't even finished painting bricks, dude. You know, so the um, slow down, Stephen. It's Christmas. The know? other thing, um, our local yarn shop, Village Yarn Company, is having a trunk show right this week through Thanksgiving. I think so, yeah, um, with ridiculous yarn. Yeah. She's so got a ton of it, and she we've shown that here before. Um, really bright and vibrant colors. Hmm. Um, so awesome. if you get some free time, yeah. She's Check gonna be open this week, Wednesday, I think eleven to two. She's closed Thursday and Friday, and then she'll be open Saturday for small business day. So mm. just as a public service announcement that okay. we have it, you know, so PSA. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. PSA. We're known for those things. We are. Aren't we? Yeah. Kind we're known, of. For, we're known for some things. I don't yeah. know if, that, if so that's it. You're still working on your fuzz? I'm I'm working on hocus focus. Hocus focus. Hocus focus. There we go. And it's with um your Alpaca Fine. Lynn. You may have to send your I don't know, I whatever. Really it's super it. fuzzy. It's great. Um, I really like it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to send her and yes. go get some more. Um, it's baby alpaca. Because I can't use... Well, I mean, I can mohair. use it. I can use mohair. I just can't wear mohair because it makes me super itchy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing this with baby alpaca. And then stash. this was stash yarn. I think it's mulberry silk. Okay. I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. But um, yeah, it so is, it's hocus it's focus. Turning, turning out um, really, really nice. It's kind of on a diagonal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is on a diagonal. So, yeah. I mean, it's a rectangular scarf done yeah. on a diagonal. Yeah. Which is really um, cool. And this picks up a stripe in there that really is nice. Yeah, because that's, yeah. that's what it does. Yeah. It, you do you do a few rows with two held together, and then you drop one, and you do a few rows with just the mohair, oh, and then neat. you pick it back up, and you do a few rows. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's really. I am whoever wrote Hocus Focus. I'm not sure. I don't have that right in my brain, but I am altering mm. the pattern just a smidge bit, um, because I'm just doing two and two, and I think they alter 
They go mm. like three and five and two and six and I'm not sure. Well, you know what Marsha always says? The pattern is just a suggestion. It's just a suggestion. A suggestion. <laughs> sort of like when take, my husband You can take it from there. Yeah. yeah so, so like when my husband asks me to do something, it's just a suggestion. So right now, this is, I can wear this. Yeah, I put it around nice. my neck and I'm like, oh, this is fuzzy and this soft, is fuzzy and soft. I can do this. It's one. almost as good as I just push the table. Yeah, yeah. I am afraid I'm not gonna have that. I only have one of these. Oh. So I am afraid that this is gonna be a very short I don't know, scarf. You've got, you've got a lot here. Though. I know there is quite a bit there. Yeah. So it's either going to be very okay. short or I have another one of those in light gray. So Ooh, it could be hmm. a two-tone. You could. That'd be kind it of could, cool, too. It, yeah. Yeah. And this oh, one either way, stash. I don't really care. It yeah, then you could matter. switch with the gray and then do a different. Yeah. Well, this probably will last quite a while because yeah, there's true. quite a bit on there. Yeah. Uh, and my other. Oh, yeah. This. Yeah. Oh, my God. I can't even. Like, okay, guys. I love the word fuck, period. <laughs> I just love the word. I don't care. It's very descriptive. It is. I mean, I mean it's, it's an like, adjective. It's a noun. Going, it's a verb. It's a pronoun. Yay. It's everything. Yeah. It works for it's everything. A, it's yes, an amazing it's a, word. It, yes. Very it's diverse. Sure. I just love the word. So this one here, if she finds anything with that word on it. Yes. Yeah. She gets it for me. Yep. I have oven mitts with it on it. I have socks with it on it. <laughs> I, you could have a couple of shirts, but I, I have you a sign. Far. She got you a sign. Fuck off, I'm, I'm counting. I'm knitting. Fuck I'm off, knitting. I'm knitting. Yeah. I have a sign right in my living room that says fuck off, I'm knitting. So I just love the word. Sorry if we offended you, but that's just the way it is. Um, and I got, you know, um, fat squirrel. Yep. Yeah. Bag that says I'm a ray of fucking sunshine. sunshine? Yes. Um, and I but couldn't find one, that fabric. This one says, "Be patient. I'm fucking things up as fast as I can." <laughs> it's a new pattern. Because I <laughs> and you even have a pocket on the inside. If I saw that. that, I saw I have a nice little pocket on the inside. Look it. Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So now I'm gonna have to. I don't, I'm going to have to use this for something very specific. That's okay. You can That's do it for whatever you want. I I, I couldn't you know what find, I, think, I, I think. did find, though, the fucking Ray Sunshine fabric. Uh, I so know. I will be ordering some of that. Carly, thank you so much for telling me where to find it. So I will be getting that. And I did get some for us for, you'll be getting a fun one for Christmas, too, because I did get another one. But it doesn't say, I'm not going to give you the F one because you have grandchildren. Because <laughs> they've never heard you say that word ever. <laughs> My grandson and I were discussing 2020, and we d both decided it had been a fucked up year. Oh, totally. Yeah, did you see out there anybody? I mean, when you get online, I go to Etsy quite a bit and looking, you know, things like fucking fabric. And um, <laughs> fabric. See, see, this is why I mark this channel as not appropriate for children. <laughs> Because it's not. <laughs> it's not. Sorry um, if we're offending any of you out there right now. And, and how they've done it, they've got the cutest designs, like they've got the Grinch out there and he's holding a mask going stink, stank, stunk. <laughs> or I wouldn't touch you with the 39 and a half foot pole. Oh. So, I mean, I think it's really oh my cute. Gosh. You know, so they've got some really fun ones out there about how bad it is, you know. But Aldi in Indianapolis at 106th of Michigan has plenty of toilet paper and plenty of paper towels. <laughs> So just thought I'd share that too. Okay. Another public service. Another public service announcement. See, I'm they were worried about that earlier on. Was it last week? Yeah. They were worried about they. Were, uh, Costco didn't have any when Mike was in there the other night. He said they didn't have a single roll of toilet paper, single paper towel, and um, you know why? None of the cleaning you know, stuff was there either. You do know why, right? No. Because the truckers are going on. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So as soon as that word went out there, everybody went out and started, started buying, buying things. Stuff. It's true. Again. Yeah. So okay. hey, better head out. I don't know what I you forgot. guys. Are you guys going to do anything for Black, Black Friday on Friday? I mean, do you guys go shopping on Friday? No. 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 Never we, have. We've actually gone out on Thursday night. That's one year I bought my couch that way. I spent one hundred fifty dollars on a couch and stood in line. It was cold that night, and then the guy was really nice. He felt sorry for us, so he gave us all. He came out with little 
Did he give you like hot cocoa? No, no, he came up with handwritten notes that said, the people were there for the TVs, he gave them a TV note and put his name on it. We were couched, he gave it so we could go back and sit in our cars. And we didn't have to stand in line. Oh my gosh, awesome. So all these other people came, thinking they were in line first, and then we all got in for, oh, it was, it was a kind of a, a real cluster. It was, yeah, it was Jake. not... You know, it's not a cool thing. No, I do my shopping online. Yeah. And I collect cardboard boxes, and I've got quite an extensive collection. How better tell them to get over there? I have a cardboard compactor at my work if you want to bring your boxes in. Well, we apparently can, Mikey's... We fail our cardboard. <laughs> apparently Mikey's concerned about my cardboard boxes, and he's going to come over and... He thinks you're going to get it buried underneath him at some point. You're going to get out of the car because they're on that side of the car. Mm -hmm. and well, so they're in the thinks, living room now. Well, and you <laughs> pull into a garage and there's this mound of boxes and he's just afraid you're going to bump it one day or be a little too close and, and we won't be seeing you anymore. You. Like big br heavy bricks and she's not going to be able to get out from underneath the under boxes. Well, I, think, I think I can probably get out. Anyway, know. he's concerned about my boxes, and said, Deb said that he was going to come over and break them down. You can always bring them to my work. I'll break them down and put them in my compact. We'll have to do that now that we have the, I'll break, bring the truck over and we can load up the truck. <laughs> She's that mean. Load up the lady. truck. She got you can off. bring them over to my compactor. That's yeah. Fine. yeah. Well, I'll bring them over. I recycle them. Well, yeah, I know. I'm not saying that, but you do have a lot, and it's. And, I know I have a lot, and, but and, that's because I get things delivered to me in boxes. Of course. And, and don't you just love Amazon? Oh my oh, God! Yeah. What am I getting delivered? I've got this little piece of yarn getting delivered. It comes in a box like this. Yeah. You know, because it was the closest thing, and the guy had to walk ten feet to go get a little envelope. You know, what I was I mean? just, just talking to somebody about that. Yeah. I got. But, you know, you get something that's like the size of a roll of quarters. Mm-hmm. And it comes in a box that's it's 16 inches by 8 inches by... With all that... 32 with inches. All that, no, and they don't put anything inside oh, of it. Just it just it. rattles <laughs> all around inside the box. And you're like, I could you put this in a 5x5x5 five by five by five box? Like, yeah. I know they make boxes a lot smaller. Yeah. I, got, uh, I have a subscription that comes every month from Amazon. Mm -hmm. And for some reason this month, they sent me an extra bag of dog food. Woo! Oh, well, Harley's not going to, well, Harley will be happy he doesn't have to have scrambled eggs. I haven't had to do that for a long time. <laughs> he likes scrambled eggs. Well, yeah, it's scrambled oh, eggs. My gosh. Be, you'd oh, have my to God. have eggs, though, to be able to give them. I got eggs. You yeah. do? Okay, that's and good. I, I'm not sure eggs? that I'd eat them. Oh, how much you eat them? You know that you can keep them a lot longer than what they say. My oh, mom yeah. dates hers. But I should you date can, mine. Yeah, she, she doesn't go over like a week, you know. A where, week? Yeah, if if they're expired on, like if she's got them expired today to 22nd, she'll go to the 29th, but they get moved way over here, and she makes sure that she makes just scrambled eggs. She's been doing that for their dog, but she made a whole bunch of them because she had a an extra... Just hard boil them. She had an extra dozen in the bag. I, when I moved to Zionsville, I had my, my mother just cleaned out... <laughs> My mother cleaned out my refrigerator and there was a carton of eggs and she thought it felt awfully light. <laughs> and when she cracked one of the eggs, it was empty. How? Oh. It had been very refrigerated. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't like spill out. Didn't no, there was nothing me? left in them. Oh my God, that's so funny. That would be crazy. So she, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. I can't. Eggs don't last that long in my house. Well, I'm sure things won't last very I long should, this week. Well, so. no, I should, well, no, Anyway, I do have eggs in my house, but I think I bought them when it was warm outside. <laughs> About the last time she put oh glass in her car. Gosh. Yeah. No, my oh my pretty good. I, he knows. You don't drive that much. I don't drive that much, but I have a tire that is low. Uh oh. So I stopped and put air in it because, oh. you know. Because it was low. It was low. Yeah. And I put air in until the little thing whistled, which I thought meant it was full or had enough air. And I got back in the car, what started whistled. the air pump thing. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, well, it kind of, it, anyway. It didn't fill it. No, it didn't. No. <laughs> because it still says it's low. Yeah. Okay. They don't whistle. They don't whistle. You probably, did you, are you sure you had it on tight enough? Did you take uh, it apparently out? Apparently not. No, I don't think it? I took it out. <laughs> I did that around. once. I didn't get it on there right away. I used to do that. I was really mean. One time when I was back in school, I have to story. This is so bad. I it had snowed, and we went to going to night school, 
and I shoveled out my parking place and some guy pulled in and he just got out of his car and went right in. And I said, Hey, I just spent two, and I, you know, I, I just spent two hours shoveling that. So, Big um, meanie. so we, we were taught as kids never to let the air out of their tire. You just take the stems out of the tire and then oh my God, drive that up. bandages them. No, no, no. They just have to go in and have somebody put a little back thing in there. But you know, the tires all go flat when you're driving. You don't come out to a flat tire. So sure enough, after the end of school, I was driving down the road. And sure enough, there he was, and I honked my horn and went beep beep. Hi! <laughs> oh my gosh! Only two of his tires were flat. So well, that would be enough. I know. Oh I took gosh. out two tires in Ireland. First day we were there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my Ireland gosh. driving in Ireland is just like yeah, driving. Forget it. It's the worst. It's. Yeah. The roads are this Driving big. Driving in LA. Right, right. <laughs> the roads are like this big, and yeah. along every side of the road, there's a hedge. On, and behind that, and, that and this stone little hedge wall. is a stone wall. But you don't know that as you're driving along. All of a sudden, you're like, I got a rock! And the next thing you know, there's my tires. So it was well, not we, fair. the car that we rented had the, the rear view mirrors, the outside rear view mirrors were both just. And the crap beat out of them. And it was because they'd been driven by tourists who banged them into the hedges. Exactly. That's how it is. They, and they don't even, they check some of those things and he's like, oh, we don't worry about that part. We just See, you know, over. okay. And I thought that the roads here in Indiana were bad. Oh, they're that, not great here. Because there's no, no you have no. Um, we have no shoulders. There's no shoulders here. Yeah. Not on Where our country I, roads. No, our, yeah, not yeah. on the country roads. Yeah, not on the state there roads. There aren't really on any of this on the the city roads either. Um, no. The tri driving down Zionsville. There is no shoulder. Okay, but it's an old I, town. That's why it's. I mean, do old old people don't have good shoulders? So you can't expect an old town to have good shoulders. But where I come from, it doesn't matter what road you were on. You had a shoulder big enough for okay. a car to be able to fit on. You know why? Because they had to put the snow somewhere. So they had to have an extra lane for the snow. Well, that may well, well be true. Yeah, we don't have that here, so we don't No, need but then, then there's a lot of roads <laughs> here where the hedge comes right up to that white line on the oh, side. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how it is in Ireland. Talk about the whole state, the whole but country. There's only, but Ireland only has one lane. I yeah. swear to God, everybody has to go the same direction. And it's not one way. Narrow. And they're not that way. And they literally, some of these streets, they actually have turnarounds where people pull in. Or they back up so that they can do it so that you can go, depending on... Oh my on, gosh, I can yeah, do it. And they're, they're like state it's highways. It's bad enough here. Yeah. I mean, it's I, honestly... Yeah. I, I do... There's a few roads here, like... Oh, in, yeah. yeah in in both of our cars... I mean, well, you've got big old honking we do cars. Have, we do have big, bigger vehicles. And... I don't know, like, if I could do, um, like, the back roads going into Trader Point. I don't know if I could do that in the wintertime in either one of our cars this year. Oh, sure, Ken. You got good traction. No, but, I mean, the roads are so narrow and the freaking hedge is right there <laughs> next to it. I think I would have scrapes down the side of my that, car. That and the other thing, too, is you got this, and it's just such a wonderful turn. They're just banked oh, like yeah. flat. <laughs> There's no bank to it whatsoever. It's just, you come under this and all of a sudden Gosh. it's turned. And then the next one's nicely banked because you can do this. And then all oh, of a sudden, it's, oh, yeah, it's, it's some of the roads, the, the service You know which one like, I'm talking about. No. By, by yours, if you, go, if you go from your house to Trader Point. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you take that, it's like there's no room on that road at all. I know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I could do it from here because because I don't go all the way down to Oak Street. But we're, at whatever. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, but about, whatever. But, you um, know how it is when it, when you're in some neighborhoods are like that, too. You know. I can't. I'll drive the long way around so that I can be on an interstate and, and have I'm a whole shoulder. I mean, my sister will <laughs> find. Not to worry oh, about it. My sister finds every back road from here to Kansas City. I'll tell you, she knows every one. And I'm a, I'm an expressway kid all the way. I have to be on an expressway. Or I don't care if it takes I me longer. Yeah, I will me take. Too. I'll be going I'm faster. Not, yeah. <laughs> See now, I like the ro the one road going home that goes in front of the church and has our little 
There's this one house. That yes, this that's really the one by cool, Trader Point. Yeah. Really cool little shed out this, front. And it was yes, like a farm you and I could live in the shed. We could live in the shed. It is so beyond cute. I'll have to get you a don't, picture posted. I don't go that way. I just go straight go, down. Yeah. Anyway, that road is one of those roads we're talking about. It's by and Salem Church. More Road here in, in Zionsville, in Boone County, is great. But More Road in Indianapolis sucks. So, mm-hmm. you know. stops. What? It, no, when you when it comes to 96th Street, you go like oh, you know this, this is we've really lost, we've lost yeah. these guys. They don't anyway. even know what we're so talking anyways, about. So, anyways, um, all right. Yeah. So, I guess since it's probably time, to, it probably to is so, time. You've had as much fun as you can stand. Mapito, look up Mapito. Mm-hmm. Look up look fading. Mapito, fading stripes. Fading, fading stripes. stripes. Have a wonderful thing. Enjoy your family. If nothing else, Skype or call yeah. them or call them. say Wish hi them. to your neighbor. Um, and be thankful Wear that your we're turkey all hats. sticking around that we are. And we're thankful that we have you guys. Yeah. Because totally. it's really a yeah, lot of fun every true. week to do and, this. And comment on where you're where you're from. Yeah. yeah that would be know. fun to know. Well, and also tell us what you're having for lunch, for dinner on Thursday. That'd yeah. So. I'm I'm super envious of people who are gonna get something other than turkey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am too. I <laughs> My mother used to make other stuff besides turkey, but I think this year is tur- only mm, turkey. Turkey. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, Epstein says bye. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Bye.